Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be comparing this Gen 3 Ford Raptor to this Ram T-Rex to find out which is the better truck overall. Before we get into this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Kengar Ford here in American Fork, Utah, offering me some time with both these trucks. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood of the Raptor, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 450 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 15 around town and then 18 on the highway. And yes, when I can get a review comparison with the T-Rex versus the Raptor R, I'll do it. Now with the TRX, we have a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 702 horsepower and then 650 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 10 around town and then 14 on the highway. Now, before we go over the front ends, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the Raptor, definitely has an aggressive appearance. You've got that dome there at the top, which looks really cool. Of course, we've got the marker lights here on the front end, and then you guys can see there with the daytime running light. We've got the chunky Ford logo here with fog lights there at the bottom. And of course, we've got the front bash plate. This is the 35 package Raptor, so it's got about 12 inches of ground clearance, roughly. You can get 37s, which would jump up the ground clearance to over 13 inches. Now, popping over to the TRX, you guys can see really aggressive too. That's actually functional there, but the uh, venting there on the side, not so functional. We have marker lights here on the TRX as well. Um, also in the venting there. So not as like prominent in terms of being able to see. I mean, you guys can see the Raptor versus with the T-Rex. But anyways, you've got the Ram logo, which is hollow. I think that's a pretty cool feature. And then we've got a bash plate here on the front end. And then we have just under 12 inches of ground clearance with the T-Rex. Now we've got 17 inch wheels and wrapped around that we've got 35s in the front and in the rear. And like I said, you can get 37s with the Raptor. Whereas on the T-Rex, we've got 18 inch wheels and then 35s. 35s are the only option with the T-Rex. Now, both of these trucks have pretty chunky fender flares, but I will say the Raptors are a little bit chunkier. Seems like the Raptor is less fender, more fender flare, whereas the T-Rex is more fender and less fender flare. <laughs> Anyways, look at the height difference with the mirrors because Ford's window obviously kind of slopes down to allow for the mirror to be a little bit lower. And then this Raptor has fixed side steps. This T-Rex doesn't have any side steps, it looks like. And also just look at the width difference, especially in the back of the T-Rex. You can definitely tell that it's just a bigger truck. Now with the Raptor, we got the multi-link here in the back end, and then we've got the live valve shocks from Fox. And then with the TRX, we also happen to have multi-link, and then we've got the Blackhawk shocks from Bill Stein. Now you'll notice that the functionality on both of the key fobs is identical with the remote start, the tailgate drop function, all that, and then TRX, and then Raptor on the back, so yeah. Now when it comes to payload capacities, this T-Rex has a payload capacity of 1,248 pounds as equipped, and then this Raptor has a payload capacity of 1,148 pounds as equipped. So the Raptor actually has less payload, which is interesting. And we'll pop into the Raptor bed first, so you guys can see with the measuring chart action here, and then we've got a little tailgate step, and then we've got some LED light action, and we've got a full outlet as well, and then this one actually has bed liner. And then a cool thing with the Raptors, you can actually raise that. Now with the T-Rex, we've got bed liner as well, you can see LED bed lights here. And so pretty, pretty similar, but we do have to pick this up ourselves. And now finishing things up with the rears, you guys can see here with the T-Rex, you got the giant Ram logo, T-Rex, all that. And then look at the exhaust tips here at the bottom, pretty aggressive with the recovery hooks. This one also has a little kick step. And then with the Raptor, of course, got the giant Ford logo there. And then you guys can see again, pretty aggressive looking exhaust tips and bumper. Let me know which bumper exhaust tip setup you like more and just uh, which rear end you like more. The T-Rex still, like it looks, it looks bigger. Now, when it comes to the T-Rex interior, definitely more towards the luxury side. I mean, tons of leather and Alcantara here. And then that continues with the seats. Almost it's perforated here on the back. We'll move that out of the way and see down the center. We do have under seat storage. And then you've got some more uh, storage under here with these little ice buckets. And then legroom with both of them is pretty much identical, to be honest. You do have a reclining seat function with the T-Rex. We have heated and ventilated seats here in the back, USBs. We've got a full outlet as well. And then with the Raptor, you can see it's a little bit sportier with the design in terms of material use. And I guess that's a way to say it's not as luxurious as the T-Rex. Speaker for the Bang & Olsen sound system. I really do like the seats in the Raptor though. 
I will say the leather seats in the Raptor might be a little bit more comfortable than the seats in the T-Rex and then under seat storage and then flat loading floor. Uh, just heated seats here in the back. And then like I said, legroom in both of them is pretty much identical, but these seats don't recline. And then popping to the front of the T-Rex, you guys can see again with the material use on the door panel. And this one has the trailer mirrors which do have blind spot monitoring. And then here are the front seats. Really nice with all of the leather there. And then you guys can see like the light controls, pedal adjustment, but let's see getting into the T-Rex. Ooh, definitely got to jump in quite a bit. And starting you're up. Ooh, this is fun. And you can see this one has a Harman Kardon sound system. Anyways, here's the steering wheel. Um, I do prefer the Raptor steering wheel. You guys will see that in a moment. And I also prefer the Raptor paddles to the T-Rex paddles. This has stuff like adaptive cruise control. Now, yes, I understand this isn't technically a 23. It doesn't have the new digital gauge cluster. Everything else in the T-Rex is identical for 23, except the 23s have a digital gauge cluster. If you want to see that, just type in Ben Hardy 2023 Ram T-Rex, and you can see my review that has the new gauge cluster. Anyways, um, other than that, if we pop it into reverse, here's the camera system. I think this is important for these trucks because they're off-roaders, and having good cameras off-road is very important some so pretty good 36 camera system you can see the rest of 12 inch display we have heated and ventilated seats here with the trx as well and then you can see a bunch of auxiliary switches for items you can add trailer brake controls We've got like a wireless phone charging pad we got the shifter here in the center which is pretty cool now this is trx there on the center the center console now this doesn't slide backwards and forwards uh, sadly um, now note we do have a rear locking differential and then this is four wheel drive all the time you also have four wheel high four wheel low you got launch control and then the drive modes which you can see them pop up here no see so had a custom but you have drive modes for pretty much every single condition with the trx um, auto mode though is what you're going to use most of the time and then we also have a camera rear view mirror as well as a power setting window and then this one does not have a sunroof and then popping over to the raptor you guys can see here with the material use and notice we got like memory seats blind spot monitoring with the mirrors and then here are the front seats kind of like the look of these seats a little bit more and then popping in a lot easier with those side steps that's for sure Ooh, so we'll close this up quickly now, I just like the look of the steering wheel better and the feel also, like it just, it just feels better with the grips, cut the marker there at the top as well. And then the paddles are cooler. Full digital gauge cluster. Um, so again, the new T-Rex has full digital, this has full digital, and then this has a bunch of different drive modes just like the T-Rex for all sorts of conditions, as you can see. So nothing's really changed there. I will say the camera system on the Raptor is better because you just have a bigger viewpoint with the screen. So I think the Raptor wins when it comes to cameras. Now this does have a uh, trail control. The T-Rex also has like an off-road cruise control. And then you guys can see the drive line select. This actually has two-wheel drive. And then we have a locking differential for the rear. And then you guys can see dual zone climate, heated and cooled seats. Now this is a 22, that's what has a heated steering wheel. If you get a 23 Raptor, you will not get a heated steering wheel. <laughs> um, wireless phone charging pad there. And then you got a little shifter here. And then here's the center console. And then this has six auxiliary switches, which is also important for off-roading. And then this Raptor does happen to have a panoramic sunroof. Um, also power siding rear window as well. Now when it comes to pricing, the TRX fully loaded will sticker for like over $100,000. The Raptor fully loaded will be over $80,000. But after market adjustments, usually the TRXs go for under MSRP lately. So like you're gonna be like 90 something thousand dollars whereas the Raptors go for over MSRP. So you're gonna be like 90 something thousand to $100,000. So they're basically the same price if you're looking to purchase one in today's market. Now we're gonna start off in the T-Rex because I want to see if jumping out of the T-Rex and going into the Raptor makes me feel like I'm missing out, right? Like I just lost something because I lost the supercharged V8. Now, the thing I do to mention is I forgot how horrible the turning radius is with the T-Rex. Again, having four wheel drive all the time means that you are not going to have the best uh, turning radius. And that is definitely true with the T-Rex. It's a big truck and it's got a big turning radius. Um, also heads up display, I forgot to mention that in the walk around portion sometimes i know how to review cars sometimes i don't now i'm going to do both of these videos in sport mode not snow mode there we go both these videos in sport mode now with the trx and this is something that i learned from owning the truck is it's definitely um it's kind of annoying with the transmission sometimes because it doesn't always like to downshift as far as what you'd need to go to get the power that you'd want to get whereas the raptor transmission you guys will see i think it's a little bit better with that now this transmission is very quick to respond. 
It's just that the gearing on this isn't as like aggressive as the Raptor. And I noticed that when I reviewed the Raptor R, it seemed like the Raptor R felt punched in the T-Rex just because of how the transmission is tuned in the Raptor. And you guys will see that with the gear shifts there. That is a decked out Forester, wow. Um, but we are in first gear here and... <laughs> boy oh boy is this fast. This Hellcat powertrain, it's so torquey, just right off the bat, just punches so hard. And I mean, you have to like shift a little bit early because this thing gets up to redline at a very quick pace. And let's go over these little bumps here with the T-Rex. Ooh, kind of stiff. Obviously we're in sport mode, but we'll do the same thing with the Raptor to see if it absorbs it a little bit better. Um, but setting things up with our quick little drive here in the TRX. And uh, by the way, don't worry about going over those bumps. It's a truck with 16,000 miles. It's 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 uh, already it's already worn in. Um, I think it drives really well. I think it sounds amazing. It's super fast. It's very comfortable. Downsides, turning radius, transmission isn't, I don't know, it just isn't as uh, good as I would like considering all the vehicles I've tested out. And so let's pop the Raptor. So we are setting up the Raptor. We're gonna make things fair. So we're gonna do sport mode with the Raptor, manual mode with the Raptor as well. And we'll actually move this forward a little bit. There we go. So um, first getting into it, like even in the parking lot, you can tell that this, although the interior doesn't look as luxurious, this truck feels more refined than the T-Rex. Like the ride right off the bat feels a little bit better. Um, the seats are actually more comfortable. And on top of that, it just, it just seems like a little quieter as well. I don't know why the glove box was open. Maybe I forgot to close it from earlier. And the transmission, again, at low speeds, it's not like super responsive. I feel like the T-Rex transmission is more responsive at low speeds. I only pressed the paddle once and it downshifted all the way down to first. I don't know why that happened. So uh, we're going to leave that in the video because, um, Ford, what the heck? Why would why would that happen? That is so strange. Um, now, some other stuff here with the Raptor. It feels more open than the T-Rex. With how Ford does like the window seals, how it kind of like goes down a little bit, it, it makes all the F-150s feel more open compared to the Rams where it's just like straight across. Um, obviously, you know, truck makers like Ram are not gonna copy Ford with that. And so we're not gonna get the sloped down window seals, um, but it's just something to mention i don't know where the heck all these people are coming from like there's never traffic down here get out of here people <laughs> seriously okay yes yeah, so i will say at lower speeds the again the tier and like partial throttle the t-rex transmission is more responsive that's for sure like this takes us a little bit longer to shift but i'll say that the shifts in this feel like a little bit smoother Little bit smoother than the T-Rex transmission shifts. <laughs> Man, this thing's fun. Um, I mean, that's that's tough. So the, the T-Rex transmission is like better on the up shifts. This is seemingly better on the down shifts. So I guess you have to pick your poison there. That is that something I guess I forgot. But I mean, it's been a while since I've obviously had the T-Rex. Let's take over the bumps here. Honestly, with the uh, 35s, 35s to 35s, this is about the same in terms of the damping there. Like one of those bumps, it felt pretty much identical. And so summing things up, I guess that my, uh, this is why, this is, by the way, this is why I do these comparisons all the time, every single year to like refresh my mind because I feel like car journalists will talk about stuff that they haven't like done for years. And like, it's it's been, you know, a few months since I've owned my T-Rex and I've already forgotten some things about it. So like 35 package Raptor, the 35, you know, obviously 35 package T-Rex is the only thing you can get. I expected the Raptor to be the uh, winner in the sense of like ride comfort, which it is on smooth pavement. Over bumps though, 35s to 35s are pretty much the same. 
Um, the only time the Raptor feels smoother is if you do 37s, which mine has. Um, transmission, this seems to be better with the downshifts. T-Rex seems to be better with the upshifts. So you've got that. And then, you know, obviously the T-Rex has way more power, but you can get the Raptor R version, which would be the same as the T-Rex. Dang. I, so my um, my answer actually is not what I expected. Um, I think I'd choose the TRX over the Raptor 35 to 35. Like just slight win, because again, they're about the same price. If this was less expensive uh, in terms of like the market selling price, then yeah, I would I would think that the Raptor would be a bit, because it'd be less money. And I feel like it's just, it's, it's definitely just as capable off-road, if not more capable off-road. Um, but when you factor into, into account the pricing with these, the T-Rex is actually looking like a better value. Let me know which one you choose though.